All right, day five install, uh, spring 2011. Uh, day five, coming into day five, uh, the only thing we're going to be adding today is, is a formation called nickel, nickel right and nickel left, and the signal for nickel will be five down, just like this. It'll be nickel right or nickel left, okay? Now, off of nickel, we can still do our motions uh, to get us back into a three-by-one set or get us back into a two-by-two two set. So, um, uh, nickel right, as you go, go ahead, coach. Nickel right is nothing more then trips right to the three, the five, and the two, okay? So nickel right is trips right. Nickel left would be trips left to these guys. Nine man stays the same as he would in trips right. The only difference is that the four back, instead of in trips being here, he now lines up in the slot here. So that is nickel right. Nickel right wheel would put us into a three by one. Go ahead, coach. Okay, let's go back, coach. This is nickel right zip. Gets us into a two by two or into a doubles look. Okay, that's nickel right zip. Pink Patriot going on black. This is nickel left wheel. Get you into a three by one. Nickel left wheel. Get it place specific on where your alignment is on your motion. Nickel right wheel. So we're given the illusion of, of five wides, starting it out with five wides and then getting back in either to a two by two or to a three by one. Okay, all right, good. That was day five. Install, spring 2011. <clears throat> Day six install, spring 2011. Uh, a little bit heavier of an install today. Uh, this is more of our red zone day. Uh, goal line, two minute offense. So uh, coming in, putting in a little bit more of our beef, our bigger package, what we call our heavy right and heavy left in our big eye package. Um, the motions that we're gonna talk about today, to the four back, we're gonna talk about pop motion. Uh, pop is gonna be the same type of motion as speed motion to the two back. It is a full speed motion. You'll see that in just a moment. Our runs, we'll put a money three in, which is nothing more than a blast, and then our pink Patriot. Well, we've already got Patriot in, basically going to be a quarterback power. Our play actions, we got a money 3P, a general, and our concepts for the day, LSU, red zone, Husky. Husky is nothing more than Washington to the boundary and Florida to the field. Our bear butt concept, we've taught the bear butt routes off of a weak side play or uh, to our nine man, but uh, this bear butt is actually a play. It'll be bear butt to the boundary, where you'll involve the tight end off the wheel linebacker, and it'll be the fade to the field. Our special for the day, or our fire alarm for the day, is gonna be a deuce right huddle. Chad Deal at five, or I'm sorry, Chad Deal at two. Um, and, and basically, it's a slot eye, and we'll run Brown Atlanta Comet out of it. Uh, another great goal line inside the red zone play that we like to do. So we'll go ahead and get started. Pop motion. Pop motion talks to the four back. Okay, our fullback, his alignment, if you are into the boundary, if you're into the boundary, we want you on the numbers, right at the top of the numbers. It'll time our motion up. So what he'll do is he'll start his cadence. If the ball's on the hash, we want you at the top of the numbers, and then you'll hash adjust off that. 
He'll start his cadence and start you right at the same time. He'll go brown, brown, go. And at that point in time, the ball will be snapped when the four back is entering the tackle box, much like the two back entering the tackle box on our speed motion, where we got our speed steeler Black Patriot. He'll be entering the tackle box. So ball will be snapped here. He'll clear, and it will run our power. Okay. Again, that's pop motion. Signal for pop motion. Pop. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, coach. Going back to our pop motion for just a second. Just hold up right there, coach. There you go. Once again, much like we've told our two back, do not slow down. Your quarterback will time up the motion on the snap count. Your aiming point is going to be a yard to a yard and a half in front of the quarterback. We don't want to see you arc it and come down the hill. We want to see straight across. If anything, climb and then flatten it out. Okay, go ahead, coach. All right, next, heavy. Heavy is a personnel grouping, and it's also a formation for us. In this case, this would be heavy left. The communication process behind this would be heavy huddle, heavy huddle. That'll tell the people on the sidelines when they hear heavy huddle, if you're part of that, that uh, personnel package, that you're on the field during that time. We'll go heavy left huddle, heavy left huddle. We got our, our fire alarm look in here. Quarterback steps back, stays at least five yards behind the huddle. He'll count to make sure he's got his 11 in. Check us for the play. We, we signal in money three, just like money one and all that. It'll be money three, money three. He'll step in and go black money three, black money three, ready, break, boom. And here we go. Uh, again, from underneath center, it is nothing more than a blast. Heavy left has got to be a call that the quarterback has to make before he breaks the huddle. It, and, and we'll try to signal this in while he's back counting. So he's counting his players. We'll be hollering heavy huddle, heavy huddle, heavy left, heavy left, heavy left, heavy left. It'll move our tackle over. It's important to know that you got to tell these guys it's heavy left. That tackle will come over on that at that point. We like the spacing here with our nine man to be about a yard and a half to two yards, um, you are sealing anything head up to outside. Head up to outside on you, nine man. Okay? In this case here, we'll have personnel package groups. We want to slide over to make it look like a stack look over the guard. The four back's position, his depth needs to be about five and a half to six yards. We, we could push him depending upon who the back is uh, and, and the speed of him. It, we could push him to as deep as seven, but uh, uh, it is not a bounce play. It is designed to pick up one yard to two yards. It is, it is a third, fourth, and short play. It is straight ahead. Bomb it straight ahead. Quarterback will open out, opens out. As he opens out, he'll give the ball, come straight back on the line. We're not going to force him quarterback wide. Our alignment, our, as, as we open out, we do not want to, we do not want to make the four back have to run a track. Okay, we want a straight ahead, so we've got to come straight back and get him the football. Um, <clears throat> our, our, our extra tight end, extra back, blocking back, so it, it really it's like we've got two three backs in the ball game. The first three back here, his job is much like power. It is a gap scheme, so we're down, down. He's got anything off the edge. If this had been a six technique or a seven, and he's going to work all the way up, straight off his edge, straight up to that safety, okay? Uh, because that tackle would have to absorb that. Anything, if he crosses his face, tackle will pick him up, he'll climb to the next level. Okay, you've got first threat off the edge of the tackle's butt. Anything in the gap. Had they had a guy in this gap right here, that's yours because he's got to work head up to outside, the nine man does. The other three back, um, in this case here, is working for the li first linebacker in the box, straight ahead of you. All right, again, we're trying to get about a yard, a yard and a half. Bomb it downhill, four back, your alignment's over the guard. All right, go ahead, coach. It's a quick break. From the, uh, from the huddle. 
Okay, go ahead from the end zone. Watch quarterback. Quarterback starts on the hash. He finishes on the hash. Okay, go ahead. Next one. This is heavy huddle, heavy huddle. Heavy left, heavy left. Money three. Black money three. Black money three. Or blue money three. Blue money three. West money three. Starts on the hash. Finishes on the hash. Backside, backside we're going to hinge, gap hinge, this is our backside tight end. We cannot let anything run underneath us. Our job is to seal B gap. Again, he's got first thing off the edge. He's working hard. He squeezes. Go ahead. Go, go back, coach. He comes underneath. He's thinking right now. He comes underneath. He's working. He's just climbing his track. Head up to outside. Go back, coach. Okay. Quarterback will boot out. Okay, go ahead. All right, off of it, the play action off of it is money 3P. Money 3P, okay? Quarterback comes in, heavy huddle, heavy huddle, heavy huddle. Heavy left, heavy left, heavy left. And he's gonna, and, and the signal will be money 3P. Money 3P, it's like you're shooting dice. Black, black, go. It's still the same thing. It's a gap scheme down. Now the three back, the second three back in here, the ISO three back, is now fitting anything off the edge. He is securing the edge for us. All right, four back, still same alignment. You're bombing it downhill. We really want to see you come over the top, cover the cover the pads up, roll over the top of your shoulder pads, get them to step up. Nine man is going to step down as if he's going to be blocking and releasing to the corner, getting your eyes around quick. The second three back is working flat out as if he's going to kick and slip out in the flats. Quarterback, we're working straight back on the hash, just like you saw how we were doing it in regular money three. Show ball, flash ball, flash fake, turn and look for the flat route to corner route. Okay. Usually it's a third down play. We are not going to force a ball. If it's not there, it goes to the back of the end zone, thrown away. Okay. All right, go ahead. Flash fake. It's not a sprint out. We're not, it's not designed to protect you in a sprint out. The launch point is designed to get the ball out when you're at the top of the tackle. No further than the tackle right here. So the launch point should be somewhere right in here. Again, same sense of urgency, flash fake, see balls out, flash fake with two hands on the ball. Okay, go ahead. This is money 3P, money 3P, again, flash fake it. The ball comes out. Watch the break out of the huddle. <clears throat> a little bit more urgency than that. The gap scheme down. Fits off the edge. It's got flat. Miles out. Okay, go ahead. Okay. All right, moving into our uh, working our pop motion. 
pop motion, doubles, signal for doubles, that's our formation, doubles right, doubles right, pop, pink, or this, that, or that, Patriot going on brown, going on brown, again, great goal line play, great short yardage play, uh, we've got pop, brown, Patriot, Starting our full speed motion, we get into the tackle box, the ball will be snapped, and he will clear, and we're down the hill, okay? It's still power rules. It's power rules, okay? Again, don't slow down. Go ahead, coach. Short yardage. Carry the fake out, four back. The alignment, top of the numbers. Okay, go to the next one. It's nothing new for the offensive line. Okay, go. Coach, go ahead. That's good. All right, big eye. Big eye, another short yardage. Big eye is nothing more than a personnel package. Um, so we will have, you'll hear the big eye package being called out. We could use some defensive guys in this. It doesn't matter. It's whatever it takes here to get the ball in the end zone. But big eye is a personnel package. Big eye right, big eye right, yo-yo, our signal for yo-yo. It's a yo-yo motion. It's like, it's like working a yo-yo. Tells him he'll clear the, he'll clear the center and come back to where he came from. He'll replace himself. Uh, Brown Patriot, uh, again, Brown Patriot is exactly what it is to the offensive line here as we yo-yo across. You're picking up edge threat, anything off the edge. Had the tackle been covered, he would have had to pull the tight end down with him and to work their, their, their double to the backside. Um, since the tight end's not covered, if he's got a six technique, seven technique, it's his. If it was a nine technique, he's still working down. We're kicking the first thing off the edge. The three back, much like in money three, is going to be working, loading up on the, on the linebacker. He'll be loading up on the linebacker. The difference is that we're in a dead eye. We're in, we're in, a, we're in a stack eye look uh, with our depth at, at about seven yards again. Again, quarterback's going to open out, hand the ball down the hill. Okay. Go ahead, coach. Big eye right, yo-yo, brown patriot. Again, we're looking for a yard, a yard and a half. This isn't designed to, to, uh, to break the distance on the field. It's designed for a big back to get in, understand what his role is. He's not a dance around play. It's get what you can, run behind your pads, quarterback opens up straight down the hill. Hey, good. All right. Moving on to our play action. Play action is general. Signal for general. Two hand salute. Two hand salutes. General is an army protection for us. In this case, we would call black army. We will call black general, which helps the quarterback out, and it also helps the fullback out on the side that he has to end up on. So this is slant right black general. Slant right black general. Well, while this is happening, it is a black army protection. Okay, again, it helps him out, making note to, to what side to, to make the call on. The four-back is coming across the quarterback's toes. You need to scoot up just a little bit, uh, four-back. You're coming across my toes, aiming in front of me about a yard, a yard and a half. Really don't want any contact with the mesh. Okay? The quarterback and the ball and your, mo and your movement will be enough for the, for the mesh to, 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 uh, to hold the Mike linebackers in. So the quarterback's action, ball needs to be seated in. I want a 90 degrees with the ball here. Okay, 90 degree bend in my elbow with heavy on my left. So if I call black or blue or west or a girl's name, whatever that we're calling for the direction on that side, then that's going to tell you the side that we want the leg to be heavy on. So in other words, with it being black here, we want heavy on your left foot. So all my weight, 90% of my weight is going to be sitting on my left foot on the snap of the ball. Okay, so I'm going to be heavy on my left with my eyes to the right. 
I've got an eye to the right. Anything coming off the edge, I abort my fake and the ball comes out. So I'm heavy on my left with the ball in tight with both hands on it. The back and his action will do the fake. I do not have to mess with him because the back is going to know right now if they would roll the safety down or walk the wheel out and brought him, he's not even messing with the fake. He's getting straight into the protection. So you're going to see heavy on the left, eyes in the right, okay? I'm going to count it. Nobody's coming. So now I'm going to just roll my shoulders, pivot, make a basketball pivot off my left foot, and I'm going to open out at 45 degrees, and my launch point is going to be behind the tackle. We want to put the launch point right here behind the tackle, okay? Spinning my hips in a hurry, looking for the Sam linebacker. Okay, we're trying to high-low the Sam, three back. Three back, you're selling it just like power. It's a power pass. You're stepping downhill, avoiding contact with the defensive end, and you're flat and fast, climbing for leverage. If you run out of bounds, if you were to run out of bounds, you run out five yards down the field. So you're climbing, but you're working, you're working for speed and width right here. Okay, you got to make the Sam linebacker make a decision. Two man, two man splits. They're normal splits. Um, you're going to be, I believe, you're two above, uh, two above the numbers. At 12 yards, you're making your break. Okay. If it is a, if it is a one high look, okay. Obviously, if it's a one high look, we want to try to break that thing off. Skinny. It's designed to be a a a, a cover four beater. It's what we're trying to get out of this. Uh, we're trying to stick the five man's heels at 9 to 11 and slam them down quick to hold the safety. We can get the safety, then at 12 yards we're making our break flat, flat off of him, trying to get over the top of the, of the, uh, of the safety. Put us in a one-on-one -on -one with a corner. Uh, nine man, nine man, you're on a bare butt route. All right. If they rolled to a one high look, whether they rolled strong, they invert down weak, whatever it is, you're my main guy. You can't give up on me. We got bare butt to the weak side and a one high look. Uh, again, it is eyes in the flats. It's a power pass. Black army, which tells us low hats. Getting that guard around. Guard, you got, you got first thing off the edge is coming. Pull with a little bit of depth. Understand quarterback that, that I'm going to have everybody slide in this direction. The guard, the backside guard is going to be kicking here, which is going to force you to step up right here. Ball's got to come out quick. <clears throat> Go ahead, coach. It's the slant left. Uh, we'll put this slide on here because I want to show you corner cat. Again, the corner cat is going to be responsible for the four back. Four back is responsible for anything B gap to outside. We got the quarterback's backside edge protected. Go back and look. Okay, we're two above. Go ahead, keep going. All right, go to the next one. All right, here we are, slant left. Heavy on my right, go back, coach. He's, because it's Brown General, he's heavy on his right. His eyes are in the flats. Quick fake. It's three steps. Snapping my hips around now, reading the backer. Ball comes out quick. <clears throat> go to the next one. Watch the end. Go ahead, coach. You're good. Watch him here. Okay. He's heavy. Heavy on his right. Pivoting out. Go to the next one, coach. Okay. Heavy on the right. There we go. Ball comes out here. Go ahead, coach. Okay, go to the next one. It's black. Black general. Again, your fake, the ability to just give me a low shoulder pad, low helmet, the action of the back is going to, and the, and the linemen that are pulling, the left guard pulling is going to hold the backer in the box. 
We're going to hold him now. He's got the respect, power flow coming at him. He's going to step up, and that's going to give us time to hit the window, working him flat and fast to read that Sam linebacker and gain leverage right here. Go ahead, Coach. Same thing, edge pressure. Heavy on my left, edge pressure. I board the fake and get the ball out. Go to the next one. Heavy on my right. Read your backer. Yeah. Go to the next one. Watch the end zone of it. Watch heavy on the right. Go back. Go back, coach. Watch him. He's heavy on his right, but his eyes are always to the left. Let these guys do the faking. They'll do all that for us. The thing is, the coaching point out of this, the fullback cannot, cannot bump him. He cannot, his path cannot hit him. He's got to work, uh, he's got to work his angle right in front of him, a uh, yard and a half in front of the quarterback, leaving him alone. Do not make any contact with that quarterback. He will not be looking at you. Okay? Moving on to the next. Red zone play, probably one of the, uh, the better red zone plays that we have. Ball works inside the, uh, it's usually good, maybe a, 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 a last chance play for you. Um, ball's on a 14-yard line to upwards of 16, 18-yard line. Outside the 18, it kind of starts pushing in the, in the gray area, uh, getting the ball in the end zone. Trips right to LSU. Signal for LSU is making an L. It's, it's Essentially designed as your big as an all-in play or a double dig, triple dig play. Um, so, so as we start this thing from the quarterback standpoint, it is a 60 protection, 60 protection, or the protection will be called to the field. Protection's called to the field. Nine man, we'll start with you. Nine man, you got Washington alignment on your splits. Washington Kansas split alignment. Um, what you're reading right now, nine man, you're reading safety. If they're in a one high look or if they're down or spinning, okay, any type of one high alignment, you are going to convert it. You're going to get inside leverage. And depending on where you are on the field, if the ball is on the eight-yard line and you've got inside leverage, then you're going to look to bend it quick, looking for the ball quick. Uh, you are the number one read, nine man, in a one high look. As you start your route and that safety stays high or he stays on your side, then you are converting it to Washington. You are no longer part of the equation in that case. All we want you to do is not, do not interfere with any of the actions that's coming back your way all right, or coming back into the middle of the field. We want you to try to pull that safety with you in a Washington route. Again, too high work, too high, you work Washington. One high, you work Kansas. All right, but again, your Kansas route varies depending upon your, where your location is on the field. Uh, let's start with our three back now. Three back, three back, if we can run this out of a tray alignment, we can run it out of a trips alignment. If we're in trips, we're going to ask you to scoot in just a little bit, two by two, two by three, uh, right there off the tackles. But push your roll cut up, start your roll at three, work into four yards, five yards, your job is to pull the mic and the wheel linebacker down. If the mic and wheel are bailing hard, then your depth is going to be a little deeper. You've got to get them, you got to get their attention, and you've got to pull them down. Also understand this, that if mic linebacker comes and wheel linebacker comes, you are hot right now. You're the guy in the box. You're staying running, looking for the ball right now. Okay? So as you start your roll cut, if there's nobody in the box, just get your eyes around. Quarterback's going to look to dump it down to you. Five man. Five man splits. Your hash splits, you got vertical push. Vertical push. I'm starting my roll cut at eight. Okay? A lot of guys, especially the first time we install this, first time we put it in, guys are going to think this is going to be turning into a post and you're going to start your roll cut at eight and you're never going to flatten off. We want the roll cut to start at 8, and once you get to 10, flatten it off and run. Don't set it down. Flatten it off and run. Two man. <clears throat> Two man, you're going to widen your splits out. We want you to be three below the numbers. Okay? Three below the numbers. 
you've got probably the most patient route. You've got to be the most patient person on the field because you've got the longest way to go. All right, it's not going to happen quick. You're not going to get the ball quick. Okay, if you're going to get the ball, you're going to get the ball late. But you've got to understand how important your route is. We want to get you the football, but you can't get it quick. It's going to be late. You got to get inside leverage, driving off, pushing off 16 yards. At the top at 16 is when we want you to start your roll cut. 16 to the top is at 18, and at 18 yards, you're working flat across the back of the end line. Okay? Most defensive coordinators will not cover the back two yards of an end zone. That's the area we want you in, the back two yards of the end zone. If your alignment at 16 yards, okay, let's say the ball was on the, on the seven yard line, okay, and we're flirting with running out of bounds here. Your landmark becomes, your, the top of your roll cut becomes the two yard buffer in the back of the end zone, okay? You're the last one to the party, you're the first one to leave. So if the strong safety is staying high and he's in the back of the end zone, then you're gonna plant your foot at the top of your break and you're gonna work straight back out to the corner of the end zone. You'll be sitting right in the corner, okay? Four back, four back is gonna step up. And it's important that you hear what I just said. You're gonna step up, check for backer coming. You got your backers ID'd. If they come, then I'm, I'm eating up. I can't get out. Your backer steps up, he engages, okay? Backer doesn't come, now after I step up, then I'm working, for, I'm working for width, and I'm working for a little bit of, of a, a bubble with speed off of it. Okay, protection is 60. Go ahead, Coach. Should be 60. Reading it as a too-high look. Working strong right here. Okay, go back. And looking... Early in the year, this is the first game of the season. You're pushing. Quarterback's going to read Sam to high safety. You got your roll cut here. The Sam linebacker steps in, so I should have my roll cut right there. Okay? Well, I don't. That safety attaches here, so now I've got him. Okay? Go to the next one. <coughs> Trey Trey Wright. See the back flaring. Let's check it out. It's a too high look. He's out of the equation. Now let's work here. Okay, we've been able to protect him, get the switch off here. Just a simple switch. You're going to have him coming right there at the back of the end zone. Not you had your check down. Again, the delay, the delay is the key here. Step up, delay, and then release. Okay, go ahead. Next one. Okay. I'm reading it. Reading it as a one high look, He's, especially now, he works over. Inside release, get inside leverage on him now. Get the ball into him. Okay, go ahead, coach. Okay. <clears throat> Trey left. Okay, reading the safety down. I've got one on one here. He said, well, coach, if I didn't like that, if I read it as a too high look, let's work the field now. Look at your, look at your roll cut right here. You're reading Sam to high safety. Sam to high safety. Your roll cut now or there. Okay, go ahead, coach. Last one right here. Underneath, pulls them down. Got the back end line. You look where the ball is on the field. You got to take it, ball's on the 19 yard line. Start your roll cut at 16, at the top you're working to 18. Okay, good. Husky, okay. Husky is nothing more than Florida to the field, Washington to the boundary. Florida to the field, Washington to the boundary. It is a 560 protection. Signal for Husky is like grabbing your jeans, Husky jeans, okay. It is a 560 protection. So we're going to read the mic for hot. Hey, whether the mic is here or here, it doesn't matter. If he comes, 
then I'm throttling down, the ball's coming to you right now. So quarterback, I've got a pre-snap, peek here. As soon as the ball snapped, just glance and see if we've got pressure coming and then get my eyes straight back to the high safety, the weak side safety that's sitting on the hash. If the weak side safety stays on the hash, okay, because of the three men coming, if he stays on the hash, then I know I've got one-on-one -on -one out here. All right? If they spin it, if they invert it or they spin it, then I'm thinking three-man to five-man. Your five-man will be your primary, who you really want to get your eyes around to and go with, because he'll be down, he'll be coming, and that's where you'll be running. The three-man will still hold the safety in the middle of the field. Okay? Go ahead, Coach. The four-back, the four-back on this is running the replace route. So it's now, he's now on the one route. So it's a 560, peaking him for hot. Okay, doesn't come. My eyes immediately go to him. He stays off the hash, or he stays high and on the hash. And I know I got one-on-one. -on -one. Go ahead, coach. Go to the next one. Okay, reading it as 570. It's a one-high look. Okay, one-high look. That safety stays. I know the three-back is going to hold him. So I know I've got my five man in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Okay, go to the next one. Trips left. Okay, same thing. Where's the safety? The safety's now working to the field. I know the backside hash is wide open. Go ahead. They're doubling the nine man. So the ball comes out. Okay. It's a three-step gather throw. Go ahead, coach. Go to the next one. Okay. Reading here, he's way off the hash. It looks like doubling again. No, you got your five man wide open. So all they're doing is doubling the nine man with the safety in the corner. Wide open. Go ahead. All right. Deuce bare butt. In this case here, it would be deuce left. Deuce left bare butt. Uh, signal for bare butt is, is the three. Put on the butt. Um, the tight end's job in this case is to hold the wheel linebacker. If the wheel wants to expand out underneath the bare butt, then you're the number one option. We will call the protection. The protection will be called to the bare butt side. It'll be called to the bare butt side. We could go 60P or 70P here, or we could go 70 solo here. All right, it's whatever the quarterback calls. If he wants to keep you in, then we'll keep you in. We're going to read it one to two. If the wheel linebacker is held in the box by the tight end, then we know we've got the bare butt. He's one on one. Again, our bare butt route, okay? <laughs> one below splits, drive off five yards and burst to 10. So you're driving off, burst into 10, aim in the outside shoulder of the corner, okay? And so as you work to that outside shoulder of that corner, you're going to stick your foot in the ground and expect the ball to be hit on the outside hand, okay? Bear butt, you've heard us talk about it in day one and day two installs. We want to pat the outside hand in a bear butt. It's not an out route. Okay, drive off for five, burst to ten, aiming for his outside number, sticking my foot in the ground, expecting the ball out in the backside. To the field, we have got to the field, we're above the numbers and we're running a nine route or basically a Florida outside concept. Okay, get outside and work. Uh, we're going to read it as a man turn, a zone turn, three man or five man. Uh, in this case, we're going to take, you've got the beater route. You've got the beater. All right. So we don't want you to continue to get wide. We want you to hold that safety much like you would in a Washington home run call. You've got the beater to hold the safety. Quarterback, this is a great ball. We like to throw this around the 30, the plus 30. And, and taking a shot in the end zone is what we're after on this. We'd like to take the, f the, the fade to the field. Um, that's our number one thought. Go ahead, Coach. Okay, here you go. Got off coverage. <coughs> We'd like to outside release that. We know we got the fade to the field, the bare butt to the boundary. 60 solo. Okay, go ahead, go to the next one. Fade to the field, bare butt to the boundary. We soloed it, 70 solo. Got your beater, go back, coach. 
important to know that the beater has got to hold the safety. Okay, we'd like to work a little bit more leverage out of this. Okay, hold that safety, pull that safety in. We know we got one on one here. Okay, go to the next one. And we could have worked the bear butt here. Okay, we could have. We again, we like to work it, call it to work the fade to the field. We want the one on one coverage here. We got 60 solo. Any type of edge pressure would be sliding into that, so we're safe there. Get the ball up and get it out. Go ahead, Coach. Next one. <laughs> 70 solo. Go back. Okay, go ahead. Got the beater. Hold the, hold the safety. Okay, go to the next one. Go ahead, go ahead, coach. Go to the next one. Okay. All right. And the last thing we'll talk about today is our deuce huddle, our fire alarm. Um, we've got, uh, um, we'll, we'll make a, it's a personnel call. Um, we'll go Chad Deal at two. Again, it's Brown Atlanta Comet. And that's exactly what it is Brown Atlanta up front. Quarterback's going to roll his shoulders. Get the pitch on the edge. Four backs going to hesitate for just a second and then start, start his climb. We want to work to the corner of the pylon. Run to the pylon as fast as you can go. <clears throat> that is your aiming point. That is your landmark. The, both the, the, uh, our, our um, five and two here, or five and nine here, are going to work in man up, head up on you. First threat, most dangerous man. Um, we're not going to pass one to go get one. Again, we want to get the ball outside and get the ball to the corner. Go ahead, Coach. This will be deuce right huddle. It's a right hash play. Okay, go ahead, Coach. End zone. Roll your shoulders and flip it. That we can put anyone here. We can put, you know, just one of our fastest players there. It doesn't necessarily have to be a true running back, a true four back. Go ahead, coach. Okay. <clears throat> our naked for the day off of our big eye package is big eye right. Zen. Zen motion is Zen. Zen. And we're going to go at Black Hawk back. Black Hawk back. Um, again, it's exactly what it says here. We, we've installed the Hawk back already. So we're not going to go through those rules. The Zen motion will take him all the way across, and you'll fit off the edge all the way across. Your job is to help secure the edge, two back. Secure the edge. Okay, quarterback open up, showing ball fake, and immediately after you show ball fake, snap your head around, looking for anything coming off the edge to get the ball out. All right, I'm reading it as one to two to three. Again, this is a great short yardage play. Go ahead, Coach. That's day six install, 2011. Thank you.